going to be making a chicken dish today. Now this chicken dish I've had many times in Spain so I thought I'd share it with you. It's absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to go through the ingredients. Now I've got my chicken pieces there. I've got four chicken drumsticks and four thighs. Now my pieces have got the skin on but you know if you're a little bit health conscious want to keep the fat down obviously ask your butcher or you can do it yourself take the skin off it's entirely up to you. Now what you want to do with those is wash them dry them a little bit of paper towel and then season them a little bit of salt and pepper. Vegetable wise I've got a green pepper and a red pepper. Now mine are fairly small so I'm going to use the whole of each of those but if you've got a large one and I'm talking about your peppers if you've got a large pepper then just chop it in half and just use half the red and half the green. One tomato I'm going to use half the leek. Now with the leek when you cut it in half Try and give it a bit of a rinse, you know, because sometimes you get a little bit of sort of dirt or grit in between the layers. So try and rinse it off as much as you can. Maybe slit it with a knife just to rinse off some of that. Half an onion I'm going to use. Then I've got four cloves of garlic. Now I'm going to use two cloves of garlic initially and I'm going to slice those up, add them in with the sort of onion, the peppers, tomatoes, the leek. Just gives it a really nice base. And then later on, the other two cloves of garlic, I'm going to crush those, add it with the chopped up parsley, and it just really adds a beautiful flavour at the end. Now with the parsley, if you haven't got fresh parsley, don't worry, you can use dried parsley. You can use like a teaspoon of that. I've got one cube of chicken stock and I'm going to add that with like a glass hot of hot water so you've got instant chicken stock really nice and simple. I've got a little bit of white wine there's only a small amount in there probably about a third of a glass of white wine. If you haven't got white wine but you've got a little bit of red wine use red wine. The difference is slight difference on the flavour but also you know the red wine's going to add a little bit more colour little bit of olive oil and that's frying up the chicken and that's it. So nice and simple ingredients but you get a beautiful flavour and it's delicious. So now I've gone through all the ingredients, what I'm going to do is get it all prepared, I'm going to go over to the hob and we're going to start frying up these pieces of chicken and get a beautiful colour on it. So I've come over to the hob and what I'm going to do is switch my uh, hob on. Now I'm using an induction hob and I'm going to put it on about medium heat and I'm going to add some olive oil. Uh, let's get a bit of olive oil in there. Just put that in the pan. Now you want enough so that you can, you know, brown off the chicken pieces. You don't need too much because obviously I'm using with the skin on and that's got a little bit of fat anyway. So let that warm up. Now whilst I'm doing that, I'm just going to put a little bit of seasoning, a bit of salt and pepper on the chicken. good pinch of that. Now this is starting to warm up because the induction hob warms up really nice and quickly so just wait until that's just a little bit hotter and I'm going to put my piece of chicken in there. I think I'll do it really. Look at that. Straight in nice and hot. Now this is going to be a bit of a squeeze That spitting you can hear, it's because there's a little bit of water left on the chicken pieces, so try and dry your chicken off as much as possible. Look at that, nice and cosy. And let, you know, let's just build up a little bit of colour on each side of the chicken. And with the chicken pieces, give them the occasional turnover, because you want to get the colour all the way around really. Look at that, beautiful colour. Give them a squash down. And once you've got a bit of colour on there, then you can take them out of the pan. I would say you're looking at eight minutes, maybe ten minutes at the very most. There you go. Been cooking mine for about eight minutes, so let's have a look. Yeah, I think I'll take those thighs out. So 
take those out as well. So there you go, about eight minutes for the chicken pieces. I mean, we're not trying to cook the chicken at this point, just trying to give it a little bit of color. So now I've taken the chicken out, I've got all my other bits all prepared, the peppers, the onions, and the leeks, and the garlic and everything. Just put it all in. Whoops. Put it all in together, really. And with these vegetables, I would want, I would say you want to cook these for a good 10 to 15 minutes and get them really nice and soft. If you need to turn the heat down a little bit, by all means do that. So, you know, you can do this on a sort of fairly lowish to medium heat, 10 to 15 minutes until they've really softened down. So just to recap, we cooked the chicken for about eight minutes, get a nice color on it. And I've been cooking these vegetables for about 15 minutes and I've given them the occasional stir and that they're softening down beautifully. Now make sure you haven't got the heat too high so they're sort of burning. So just give it the final stir. Now I'm just gonna turn the heat down just a little bit more. And then what I'm gonna do is add the chicken pieces back in. So I've got all my chicken pieces there and I've had them in a bit of tin foil just to keep them a little bit warm. I'm gonna add those on the top. Yeah. Beautiful. Get all those juices out. Now again, I'm just gonna carry on cooking and I'd say really cook for another 10 minutes. So now I left the chicken pieces cooking on top of the vegetables for the 10 minutes. I'm just gonna bring the heat up again to about a medium heat. Cause what I'm gonna do now is to add some white wine and this is going to give it a beautiful flavor now obviously if you don't drink white wine and you don't want to use it in your cooking then just use stock but i'm going to add the white wine or red wine if you want because it just really adds a flavor so get that up to heat and then we're going to add the white wine so i'm just going to add me white wine now i'm going to use the leftovers of what i've got in the bottle there so let's just pour that in there Again, bring the heat up a little bit. Now what I want to do is cook off the, the sort of alcohol in the wine. So just let that sort of bubble away. Once we've, you know, cooked the wine off for a, two or three minutes, then we can add the stock. So I've got my stock. I'm just gonna add that. Now you don't need to sort of fill it up so everything's covered, because what we're next gonna do is to put a lid on there and we're gonna carry on cooking for about another 15 minutes but I'm now gonna turn the heat down nice and low. So now I've been cooking the chicken on a very low heat for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna take the lid off and I've got me crushed up garlic with that fresh parsley. And I'm just gonna add some of that in really. Just gonna sprinkle it in the sauce there. And this will just give it a really lovely flavour. That's it. Just got to get that in there. Oh, beautiful. It's quite an important thing to add this parsley and a little bit of garlic just at the end there because it really intensifies the flavour and just makes this dish what it is. Now, Again, I'm going to put the lid back on. Just carry on on the same low heat, very low heat. Give it another 15 minutes and that will be ready to serve up. So I've finished cooking the chicken. And look at that, beautiful. And that sauce smells absolutely wonderful, that little bit of parsley and garlic. Now what I'm going to do is take it over to the table, serve it up and try some. Beautiful. So I'm just going to serve some of that up. First of all, I'm going to get a couple of pieces of chicken on there. Oops. In fact, because I'm really starving, I think I'm going to have three. Here's my dinner after all. Now, also, I'm going to get some of that wonderful sauce. 
all those bits of vegetable in there. Let's say it's kind of like a stew. Just gonna get some more of the sauce. The sauce is really nice. And you can mop that up with some lovely fresh bread. So I'm just gonna move the pan out of the way and then we're gonna try some. Now, first of all, I'm just gonna get some of the juices. Let me try it. Mmm. Oh, that is absolutely, just how I remember it, absolutely delicious. Mmm, and really nice. You can dip the bread in there. That is gonna be wonderful. Now, I'm gonna serve mine up. Got a really nice Rioja wine there, so, have a little bit of that and I've got myself some bread at the ready there now let's just try a little bit of this chicken as well so let's just get it off there so we can see it oh look at that look at that right let's just tuck into this now as I say if you prefer not to have the skin on your chicken you know cook it without the the skin but mm. oh that is delish absolutely delish and look the chicken is so nicely cooked it just peels off it's so soft you'll really enjoy this it's wonderful try a bit more mm. I'm not joking that is just yummy yummy so go and try it I'm going to put mine on a tray and I'm going to go and watch the Olympics. So thanks for watching my videos and I know you'll enjoy all the best, the original Naked Chef. And don't forget, have a little bit of bread so you can dip up all those juices. Mm. Cheers. Mm. The wine's nearly as good as the food. See you again soon.